Chapter 265 Entering High Society Did he know something? Impossible. Only she knew about Presidentious Matter. Even her manager did not know. She had kept the matter of being blackmailed by President Ju a secret. Yi Yi was afraid that Zhao Qin would completely give up on her as an artist after she found out. At that time, she would have to go back to her old life, living like an ordinary person, rushing to work on the subway from 9 in the morning to 5 in the evening just to survive in the big city. She was unwilling. She firmly believed that she, Yi Yi, had the ability to enter high society, live a good life. Therefore, she tried her best to hide the matter from President Zhu. She could not let her hard work be ruined. Yi Yi smiled at Su Jingting, hoping to get lucky. Film Emperor Su really loves to joke. Didn't CEO Zhu already withdraw his investment? Why is he here? Even if I want to chat with President Zhu, one can't find him. Su Jingting smiled when he saw Yi Yi refusing to admit it. I heard that President Zhu has been asking people about Miss Ye's schedule recently. That's true. Miss Yi and President Zhu have known each other for a long time. How could President Zhu not know your schedule? It's really strange. Yi Yi's expression started to stiffen. As an artist, it's normal for her schedule to change. One have a deep understanding of this. Su Jingting said as he took the room card that assistant son handed to him after checking in. Miss Yes schedule seems to have changed a lot. I don't know if you need me to tell President Ju. No need. After Yi Yi finished speaking, she realized that she was being too anxious and immediately corrected herself with a smile. President Ju's career is at its busiest. It's better not to disturb him. Oh. I didn't expect Miss Yi to ignore President Ju so quickly. There is no such thing Yi Yi forced an extremely ugly smile. There was a hidden meaning in film Emperor Sus words that made her tremble in fear. Fortunately, President Ju withdrew his investment. Otherwise, President Ju's company would have gone bankrupt and the entire filming crew would not have been able to continue. It was hard for Missy to absolve herself of the blame for bringing in such a low-quality investor. In the end, Missy still has to thank us. Otherwise, Miss Yes' reputation would probably be ruined along with President Ju. Where did Missy get the confidence and courage to criticize others with certainty? If Missy really thinks that what she said is right, he'll immediately call President Ju over. Let's talk it out clearly. Yi Yi panicked when she heard that film Emperor Su still wanted to address her as CEO Ju. Cha Chin and her assistant couldn't get a word in edgewise. There was also Jung Fern eyeing them like a tiger watching its prey. The situation was very awkward. Sia Yishin sneered at Yi Yi. Miss Yi. Please have some self-respect. Since you don't have self-respect, don't even think about becoming a prostitute. You still have to build a chastity memorial archway. Everyone knows about what happened between you and CEO Ju. So, in warning you solemnly, if you still want the female lead position, you'd better do your part as an actress. Otherwise, the saliva that comes from the rumors can drown people. When the time comes, it'll be clear who harmed the production team. If the investors, directors and producers come after you, I won't be able to save you. See Yishin then leaned closer to Yi Yi and whispered into her ear. I didn't teach you how to behave after slapping you twice last time. If you don't learn, I don't mind teaching you again. Yi Yi's eyes widened as she watched Zia Yishin and Su Jingting leave. 